This is the Earth and on, on a go show once again. Haven't been out here with the disaster going on out here with all this high water. Talking to Miss Sarah, she said they had water all in the parking lot. It was all part of the swamp and lake. Oh, yeah, she said she had fish in the parking lot last week. But uh, a lot of high water, so we're gonna see what we're gonna do out here today on these Saturday. I think we're gonna do pretty good. Overcast skies in the 80s. Supposed to get up to the 90s today. So uh, we're gonna see what we can do. So y'all stay tuned. Once again, we going with the Irrigan Oak on the go show uh, down here at Lake Red area. And uh, the roadways and everything down here has been taken by the high water of uh, recent days, recent weeks. So uh, we're going to get down here and see what we can do, uh, navigate our way back in. But anyway, uh, as we start every show, we start the show off with the things that's most important to us. And that is first and foremost, the issue of safety. And again, as we talked about safety, we continue to talk about safety. Uh, we're going to keep safety first and foremost and throughout the day. Maintain an aspect whereby safety remains first and foremost. When you come out here, there's a lot of things that can get you in trouble real fast. And if you pre-think these things prior to, you don't have to react to things that occur once you get out of here. So keep the mindset positive, keep the mindset clear. Pre-think the things uh, going into the, the uh, events of the day. We can have the greatest plan in the world, but the issue of execution does not occur in our favor if we abandon the safety for one second of any day. So keep safety in mind. Now, one thing about it is if you ever get out here and get distressed, get to the point whereby uh, you don't have engine power, you get disoriented, or you get lost, or you get misplaced, I understand the GPSs and everything else that you have uh, to accommodate your issues of finding your way, this, that, and the other. But if you should get back there somewhere in the swamp and you can't find your way out and you, uh, you, know, you think people are looking for you, uh, remember the uh, universal uh, accepted way of uh, doing so is the code of distress, and that is a three-shot blast on your uh, air horns. If you got an air horn, Eric, do we have an air horn on the boat? Yes, sir. All right, we got an air horn. And uh, those horns are basically uh, a Freon generated type refrigerant that's in these things. And uh, you shoot the blast as long as the cylinder is full or you have a backup cylinder, uh, you can use that. But uh, remember, if you're going to give a call signal to someone, the universal call signal is three shot blast. You give the three shot blast, and uh, if someone hears it, and react to it in a way uh, that works for you. And should you be out here on the water and you hear three shot blasts from a call signal, whether it be a whistle, uh, whether it be the air horns themselves, react to it in a manner consistent with what you would want somebody to do if you on the other end of it. So keep safety number one, keep safety first, and uh, do the things that make common sense. And if you're operating in a common sense fashion, chances are you return uh, in a very good way and uh, Good sack of late day. So let's go see if we can find us a fish. We got plenty of water. We just need to find a fish. That's on with the safety corner. So y'all be safe out there. Have all the proper equipment you need out there and all your safety gear. So uh, y'all stay tuned. We're gonna see if we can find these sack of later. Right on. Oh man, it's gonna be uh, some kind of day today, huh? Old cast sky, high water. Oh, it looks like we might be fishing deep today. Tell me what you think about it, huh? We ain't been out here in a while. Well, it's been a few weeks, but uh, we'll have to see. Uh, 
most of, most of the uh, locals around here seem like they've uh, pretty much been beaten down by the high water. You can see where the water had taken the roadway, and it's just beginning to go back into the bayou. Yeah. So we're going to have to see. It's going to be a transitional moment for us, but oh, yeah. we're going to have to see. You know? Yeah, we got to see, huh? Uh, heart kind of goes out for these people that, uh, you know, they have, some of them have sort of meager means about them, some uh, that off and of them, but some of these people, everything they have is tied right up to this waterway, you know? Right on. You know, last time we was out here two weeks ago, what did we say? They get the sandbags together, huh? What you say we was going to do? I'm gonna take, do no good, huh? Yeah, take a sandbag and put it on top of a sandbag. <laughs> wish for the best. Yes, indeed. It look like everybody made out all right, huh? Yeah. Look like a new area with all this water out here, huh? Yeah, we'll have to see. Have to see. I think uh, we can have a dry day. There's less water these people have to contend with. And uh, us finding the fish is only secondary. Uh, what's paramount with these people down here? Well, that's it. That's right, on. Well, we're going to still pursue the cycle here. Uh, we're going to see if we can convince them to take a bait and see what we can do. Yeah, on. We usually say, uh, put it down, but we ain't say put it down today with the weight. Well, the thing is, you got to be respectful of people's uh, property. That's right. And, uh, if we go blazing through, or anyone goes blazing through, the boat way can push the water into their houses. And the water's right up to the back doors, front doors, and whatever. So, uh, it's common courtesy that we always extend. And that's just part of the way out here. That's right, that's right, huh? Huh? Hey. Tell me what's the word for the day, huh? Well, they gonna be, we'll see if we can make it become a sack of lake the other day. Oh, we're gonna see if we can make it on. It don't matter if we make it or not, we out here today. <laughs> it's a beautiful day every time we can be out here. Yeah, we'll keep safety number one, though, bro. Safety number one, on. Keep safety number one to start the day, safety number one throughout the day. Yeah, uh, so we're gonna see if we can make this a sack of lake day, y'all. We can't put it down, so we're gonna slow jam it down here today. The week is in effect. Well, we got some new baits we want to try, man. We put some baits together this past week. Let's see what we can do. Say what, on? Yes, sir. Oh, you got a secret on me, huh? No, oh, you ain't send me no photos, on. Well, I'm going to show you the real deal in action. What? Yeah, we get out there and see if we can put the new deal on the new deal. I think we got something to make the fish do something they hadn't wanted to do before. Uh oh, yeah, we're gonna see what this new deal is about. We got their own. Well, brand new bait just put together. First cast, second lead. First cast. Second lead, Ricky. Okay. Second lead, second lead, huh? First cast. How that bait look, huh? Look like it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's doing what it's doing. What is it? First cast, second leg. Alright, y'all, we gonna to make a move. Another honey hole. I'm gonna caught the first one in the boat. Grand River. You know? So we're gonna make a move. Search for these fish. They ain't hitting like we wanna hit. I'm gonna caught that first one on this homemade bait. That's what I'm talking about. Good high water up in the tree. Sackley, sackley, y'all. Might be on something here. You watch that use a modified piece of bait, but it's the way you modify. Perfect, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> nice sackley, eh? Nice sackley, huh? Oh, that's cute, right? Look at that, a little sack of lip. That even sack of lip. That gives a little sack of lip. That's a little sack of lip. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Don't see when you grow up. Put you on your way. That's a little sack of lip, y'all. You want to do a hard thing? Get it? Ain't nothing fair, but... 
Coming out, be a team member. Don't be a hater now. <laughs> All right. Uh, got their own. Brother Sakale. What? On the homemade jig. Homemade jig. Yeah, pink head, purple body, shot truth tail. What I'm talking about, huh? Homemade Sakale. Think about it, don't. Think we found them on? Good sack. Think we got them on? We got a nice looking box there, yeah? Box don't look too bad right now, huh? All right, y'all. We're gonna call it a day today. Think we had a blessed day. Got on top of the sack of lay. You know? Uh, <coughs> I think that we could have had a little bit better day, but it's getting better. High water, you know? Got them little uh, high winds over there. But uh, what you think about it, don't? I thought you turned out really nice, sir. All of the uh, canal networks that we normally go to, uh, they're still uh, off-colored. Uh, some are still somewhat acidic. You can see that tannic acid uh, issue on the water. And uh, But the lake was the first thing to clear up. And uh, it's stabilizing pretty fast in comparison to the canal networks. Uh, but if you look across here, you'll see that the, uh, the lake right now is calm. And that's what we've not been able to find the last few times we've come down. Uh, high blustery winds and uh, kept it, the water a little bit too turbulent for the boat uh, to safely navigate across. So today we've had a good day. We're able to go to the southeast corner and uh, work uh, those ends of the lake on the outside cypress trees. Cypress trees adjacent to creek channels and whatnot, uh, that's where we found fish and found uh, concentrations of fish. And some of the sackley coat, some nice sackley. What do you think, right? That's right, on. We had a blessed day, on. You know, so Can't be that. The pattern today was to get on the uh, trees that were in the, or right near deep water, but provided some type of a uh, shelter, underwater uh, things uh, fish could congregate at. And we found those. And when we found them, we found fish. And that was pretty much today's pattern, just duplicating it wherever you found that same scenario. Uh, go ahead and do some of the same things, but a little twist here and there. And uh, again, you know, turned out to be a good day. That's right, on. Well, we got a box of fish, huh? So. Yep, a nice box of fish, huh? Nice box. Y'all don't up. forget to go to YouTube and subscribe and share with your friends on Facebook. Uh, we thank y'all for watching, but we're going to go ahead and put it down. This is the Earth and Unk on the Ghost Show. See y'all next time. Rock and roll. Rock and roll on. Put it down on.